Thanks, Brian. We're talking equestrian, soccer, volleyball, rifle, and baseball in this week's Texas Health and Sports Medicine Sports Report. Starting off, Women's Equestrian kicked off their 2018-2019 campaign with a huge 14-1 win over Texas Tech in an exhibition match. Now the Frogs took home all four MOP honors, which is equivalent to winning the MVP for each event, and 12 Horn Frogs got on the saddle for the first time in their careers. Now the team looks to carry this momentum as they host Delaware State tonight at Turning Point Ranch. And another team that kicked off their season, Women's Rifle, defeated number 20 UTEP. Now the Frogs entered this season ranked number two in the preseason coaching poll, and they've been to the national championship each of the past 12 years. Last year, they finished in third place. This year, like the goal every year, is to win a national title, and that quest for the title continues as they travel to take on Navy this coming weekend. to women's soccer who dropped their first home contest of the season to West Virginia 2-0. Head coach Eric Bell said they played a great team. Congratulations to them. But hey, the Frogs are going to get back to the drawing boards and be ready as they continue Big 12 play and take on Baylor tomorrow night. And women's volleyball, despite winning their first set, they fell short against Kansas 3-1. Now the Horn Frogs improved to 9-4 on the season and 1-1 one one in Big 12 play. Elon McCall led the team in kills for the 10th time this season with 19 in the match, and she completed her 7th double-double with 12 digs. And Anna Walsh finished with 12 kills to mark the 10th time this season recording double-digit kills. Up next, the Frogs will go on the road to face Kansas State on Saturday. And the legendary TCU baseball program is back in action as they started fall practice a few weeks ago, gearing up for this 2019 season. TCU returns 18 letter winners from a year ago, including seniors Jared Janzak and Josh Watson, in addition to welcoming a 20th ranked recruiting class. And fans, if you got to get over to Lupton earlier this week to catch the scrimmage when TCU Baseball hosted the Ontario Blue Jays, tweet us with your reactions and get ready for the spring in Lupton. Those days are a ton of fun cheering on the Frogs. And finally, the campaign that made ways for TCU women's basketball last season, the power of her. Well, this year, if you didn't think it could get any better, well, it did. Take a listen.